Hi, and welcome to the Blockchain Fundamentals for Accounting and Finance Professional Certificate Program. This is a learning program for building real-world literacy on blockchain and crypto assets. This course is going to teach you to anticipate potential benefits and risks of this technology, structure and functionality, and to translate them to relevant business application and value. Today, we're going to go over Module 1, which is the Blockchain Evolution and Technology Concepts. My name is Amy Vetter. I am the owner of the B3 Method Institute and also the author of the book, Integrative Advisory Services. I write for Accounting Today, CPA Practice Advisor, and the AICPA Journal of Accountancy. And I am a CPA, CITP, and CGMA. And Kirk, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, thank you. My name is Kirk Phillips. I am author of the Ultimate Bitcoin Business Guide for Entrepreneurs and Business Advisors. I'm also a CPA, a certified management accountant, a certified fraud examiner, a certified fraud examiner, and a certified Bitcoin professional. I've written articles for Bitcoin Magazine, Why Bitcoin Magazine, CoinDesk, among others, and also have a niche uh, boutique consulting practice for cryptocurrency and blockchain uh, startups and other businesses in the space. Great. Well, let's get right to it. So today, this module is going to identify the fundamentals of money and currency and its evolution from pre-cryptocurrency to digital crypto assets. We're also going to distinguish between blockchains and cryptocurrency and ownership. We're going to identify the core components of Bitcoin technology and blockchain technology and distinguish between proof of work, proof of stake, and mining and also identify the custody, responsibility, and control continuum. Now, we're going to start with the basics because it's really important to come back to what the fundamentals of money and currency are because this is going to be a theme throughout the module to understand how this works into blockchain and Bitcoin. So money has three fundamental properties. And picture the money you use today. It's a store of value meaning people can save and use this value for later use. It's a unit of account. It's a common base for pricing and comparison. And it's a medium for exchange. So it's a way people use to just drive commerce. And it's a common currency that we can buy and sell from one another. Now, there are four important attributes to money that we're going to be referring to throughout the module. One is that it's durable, that it has an ability to last a long time before needing to be replaced. It's portable. It's something that can be easily carried from one place to another. It's divisible, that it's something easily divisible into smaller units. And it's fungible. It's one unit is interchangeable with or the same as any other unit. So really important for you to keep this in mind as we go through the module. Now let's just talk a little bit about how all of currency came to be. And really, this comes back to a matter of trust. And when you think about the beginning of money, currency, how we exchange goods and services, it really all started with barter. And it was because we were in similar geographic locations where we could walk to the person that we were buying or selling goods from and exchange. And we determined what that exchange could be that we would feel had like value. Now, as we started moving into other geographic areas and other uh, uh, items that became more valuable, such as precious metals, salt, et cetera, these commodities were used to exchange for goods or services as well. As space started even growing further between us, we needed to start using a currency that we could use to buy goods and services when we couldn't actually see the person, that they weren't right in front of us. And that is coins, paper, uh, money that we use today, as well as eventually evolving into plastic, such as credit cards. Now, all of these started using third-party intermediaries, where we had to trust someone to hold this currency for us so that we could exchange this with other people which is really what brings us to cryptocurrency.